All right. Let's get it going, man. We're going to jump into the first game of GGBA. Uh, let's see. Uh, daily view. Let's see. We can watch the Raptors. Also, I'd love, I'd love it if we could keep a list of the, of, the co of the teams we've watched. Here's the thing. We have 36 teams. There's 82 games in a season. That really only gives us about enough games to watch every team twice. So we're going to watch every single team twice. That's how we're going to do it. And I think... Bees and Jazz? All right, Bees and Jazz. That's what we're starting things off with. Bees and Jazz are going to be our day one matchup. Let's do it. Our first game of GGBA Season 2. We got Bad Wolf Marsh up against Distorted Flux. We got Walrus versus Small Peen. Sniper Cat versus Dr. Thought. Lucy Pussy versus Mario Ratatouille. And Zack Immortal. Versus Mo Lester Jr. So the Utah Jazz actually have an 88 overall starting for them, which means they got a 90. They got a 96 coming off their bench. That might actually be good. That might actually be good. Here we go. Game number one, Budacris, Cold, Mr. Muffins. Thank you guys so much for the love, man. I appreciate you doing so very much. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. GGBA season two. Let's get it. Let's Sam. Yo, Let's Sam. Thank you for the 58 months. Welcome back. What is this? Snowfall? Now 2K's got show advertisements in 2K TV? How much they get paid for this? I thought it was going to be about basketball, bro. This ain't about basketball. I mean, kind of smart. Honestly, kind of smart. Oh, Snowfall's a cocaine thing, isn't it? There... Yikes. The NBA 2K League is on the Maybe not the best advertisement for a 2K, 2K game, but who do I what do I know? Show. What do I know? Latsack, thank you again for the 58 bomb, BB. Good evening. Appreciate you, my man. This All right. Game Are one of the motherfucking GGBA. Oh. Oh, wait. We gotta make a change though. We gotta make a change really quick. We'll we'll do it. We're in Salt Lake City, the Jazz hosting one of the newest teams, an expansion team, the Providence Bees, aka the Mods, the Mod Team. Let's see. I don't know, man. Hang on. Before we start, we got to do one thing. Who is going to win? Chat, let me know who you guys think is going to come down with the victory. Um, settings. Is there no... Oh, audio settings are down here. Commentary volume, zero. Zero. We don't want commentary. No commentary, man. The bees are stacked. You guys think the bees are going to win this? Camera, 2K. And GGBA season two is on. Let's go. Kale, you would be able to watch every team four times theoretically because you're watching two teams at once, Goldie, you mathematician, you. Theoretically, you're right. But that's if those teams match up. You're right. You're right. You have a good point. Very good point. Kenny the Black. Thank you for the biddies. Small Peen tries to start things off with a three, but it's no good. Oh, wait. Providence already scored? I'm not even paying attention. Jesus. The Bees are already out in front by four. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. See if the Jazz can get it back. They're going back to Small Peen. He drains it. He's one for two. Small Peen, boys. Mr. Marsh. Bad Wolf Marsh. More of a defensive point guard, but Small Peen already getting the, the reach in. Who do I think will be MVP? Oh, I have no idea. No, I'm def this is the camera angle we're using. This is the camera angle. Small ping drains it. Marsh off the screen. Oh, dude, I thought he was going to go for the dunk. Good defense by Flux. Lester out in front. Dude, Lester is a madman. Warriors with a steal. Fast break opportunity. No, he's going to slow it down. But he pushes it to Immortal, and they take a three-point lead. Uh-oh, it's going to get nasty. It's going to get nasty. We're not using broadcast cam because here, let me let me show you something. You want me to show you something about broadcast cam? Here, yeah, let me let me show you something. Yeah, let me hang on. Uh hang on. Yeah, let me let me go over here to bro broadcast cam. Okay, see this? See this? It fucking sucks.
There we go. Back to the 2K cam. Lester into small pain. Warris! Where's your defense, Warris? Jesus, bruh. That's just embarrassing. Oh, stolen inside by Mario Ratatouille. Marsh. Mar oh, small pain. Oh! Gives the Jazz a one point lead. Marsh is ice cold here to start the game. Peen, he's already got seven. He's got every single point for the Jazz. Another reach-in foul here for the Jazz. Let's see if Marsh can actually get his shit together and get this game going for the Providence Bees, the mod team. Over to Marsh. Still ice cold, trying to get something going here. Three seconds on the clock. He pulls up. No good, but Sniper Cat with the offensive board. Pussy misses it inside. A layup missed. They go right back to Small Peen. He's already got seven. Turn around. No good. Pussy bringing it down the floor. Pulls up wide open for the mid-range. Nobody picked him up, and he drains it. Providence back up on top. Yo, yee yee. What's up, man? Yee yee. Thank you for the eight months, dude. Ratatouille in the corner. Had a good look. No good. Pussy again. Pulls up. He's two for two from the mid-range. And the bees back up on or back on top by three. That wide open pussy. Good pass inside. Blocked by the puss. Walrus getting it set back up here for the bees. Looking to extend the lead. Walrus with small peen on him, drives inside. Definitely a weight advantage for the Walrus. Immortal with a screen, Sniper Cat pulls up. Too hard off the back rim. Ooh, Lester going to the line, gonna be shooting two. It's a good even matchup thus far. Is it weird without the commentators? Do you guys like it more without it? I mean, I am the commentator, technically. I'm the commish, the, com the commentator, the announcer. I'm everything, boys. I got my nice shirt on today. Ooh, the beard. No good. He came in, though, for the Walrus. No good on his first attempt. Matsko in the corner. Drains it. And the Utah Jazz take a two-point lead. So we got some bench players coming in for both teams. Stealth, who uh, was a former sixth man from the Rockets team last year, made a transition over here to the Bees, and he ties it up with his first jumper of the game. The triple-double machine. Motsko inside, pulls up, no good. The Bees with a chance to take the lead. Stealth pulls up, transition, bang, along two. He's good on his first two attempts. Bees back up on top. Judy taking it inside. The Beard slapping willies. Love slapping the willies. Ooh, look at that. It's Mini One. Mini One, the bald Mini One in the game for the Bees. Golden Glove in the game for the Jazz. A lot of changes. T. Robinson. Matsko, three seconds on the clock, trying to get some space. Drains it in his eye. Judy's defense, just not good enough. 30 seconds left in the quarter. 14 to 14. Goten is, Goten McScrotan gets fouled by one Judy. Or Judge Judy, or Ju something Judy. Is that the wrong Judy? Oh, no, never mind. There's a Judy on the other team. I got it. There's a Judy on the Jazz team. Beard with the pull-up takes the lead on the two. T. Robinson. Final shot of the quarter is going to be going here for the Jazz. Let's see if they can get a good look. T. Robinson decides to go with the no-play ISO. They go down to Judy who fades away. No good at the buzzer. And the Bees have a two-point lead going into the second. Hey, yeah, beard shot selection, not very great. 
But he, hey, he's hit a shot. Look at that shot by the small peen. Rattles it down. Small peen had seven, like right off the bat. That's Isn't that more than half the, that is half the points. Half of the Jazz's points is from the small peen. No, it is sped up. 82 game speed right now. Will you be the cheerleader for halftime? I'm cheerleader the entire time. I'm even gonna put a little skirt on. It's a little, it don't worry, it's a mini skirt. My junk might, you know, flop around. You might see a little, little taint, but ooh, pass inside to Judy. The defense by stealth, not enough. And it's tied 16-16. This is the very first game of GGBA season two. You're the Vince McMahon of the GGBA? Yeah, without all the weird lawsuits and shady shit behind on behind closed doors. Many one with the offensive board, three white jerseys. Not enough to stop him. Oh my goodness. Minnie's a nasty boy. The three point play is good and the bees take a three point lead. Peyton Peyton in the game for the Utah Jazz. Going over to T. Robinson, Goten on D. T. Robinson laying it in for the easy two. Where's the defense, Goten? Come on, Mr. McScroton. Pass down low to the Beard. The Beard loves to shoot. Drives inside. Picks up his dribble. They go out to mini one. Really, the Bees have not really set up any offensive plays. Oh, they're going to go for the screen. Mini one driving inside. Beard from the elbow. Can't go down. In transition. Stolen inside by Stealth. Fast break opportunity for the Bees. And he's fouled. Ooh, that could have been a flagrant, man. Beard to the line, shooting two. The Beard's carrying the team on his back? I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Dude, that was a flagrant. <laughs> oh, I'm sure we'll see. Oh, small peen back in the game for the Jazz. Let's see if he can get him going again. Down to Golden Glove on the block. Little undersized to be playing the post. Peyton off the screen. Driving. Blue jerseys all over him. Bad shot blocked by Rusty. They go back to Beard. Into Xavier Samuel inside. And he lays it up easily with the right hand. I think this is the largest lead of the game. Uh-oh. Hey, don't be lagging on me. Don't be lagging on me. We're back, chat. Refresh, refresh. Refresh. Three for the Jazz. Oh, my. It's a two-point game. Who was that? Fucking drained it. Refresh, chat, refresh. Oh, and it's a turnover by the Bees. The Jazz making a little run here. Oh, look at that. The Raptors won their first game of the year. Raptors already with a win. Darth Rich, thank you for the 47, man. How you doing tonight, bud? Thank you, brother. Inside the small peen. Two jerseys on him, but no big deal. Small peen to the line, shooting two. With a chance to tie this game up. And he does. Flawless, small peen leading the way for the Utah Jazz. Marsh inside, he's still ice cold and we're nearly at the end of the first half. Open for three, no good again. Marsh just can't find his touch here in game number one. Utah Jazz pushing it with a chance to take the lead. Another foul by the Bees. It looks like they're getting really frustrated here. They go over to Sack, who's already drained a three. We got Sack, Peen, and Ratatouille out here with Bismo Funyuns. Four seconds on the shot clock. Sack for the lead. Oh, bangs it. Bangs it. Bangs it home for the triple. Sorry, I just wanted to say bangs it three times. And the Jazz are up to a three-point lead. Small peen, call for the reach-in. This is 
a good game, man. A lot of back and forth. They go to Walrus. They go back to Marsh, who's just still cannot find his touch. Top of the key. Around the screen. He's driving inside. Goes for the floater. No good, but he gets fouled in the process. See if Marsh can see some basket or see, see the ball going to the basket a few times. Get his shot going. Looks like he's finally no longer cold. Oh, nearly picked by the Marsh. We do know he can, he's absolutely incredible on the defensive end. Flux over the screen, pulled up. It was maybe an ill-advised shot. Chance for the Bees to take the lead. Near pick. No, he gets it back. Marsh over the screens. Down to Zach Immortal. High off the glass. Ratatouille with the board. They go to Ghost Sky in the corner, but he misses. Lester comes down with the board. And it's no flux. Misses the chance for the and one. I think that's Ghost Guy. Some guy. Jazz with a three-point lead once again. The bell, though. Ding, 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 ding. It's so weird without the commentators. I'm not going to lie. It's so quiet. Ooh, picked by Lester Jr. Jazz with a chance to add on to this lead. They go to the corner. Dr. Thought behind the back. Moving the ball around. Screen set, he drives inside, step back, has room, and he splashes it home. And the Jazz take a five-point lead. Both teams shooting 53% from the field. Marsh, ooh, bad pass inside, stolen by Guy. Jazz with a chance again. Pass inside to Flux for another two in the paint. Lead is up to seven for the Jazz. Uh-oh, uh-oh. The mod team getting absolutely destroyed, nearly stolen again. Flux got the clamps on Marsh right now. Screen set, Walrus thought about pulling up, going to Marsh. No good again, Marsh still cannot find the range. Lester, no good as time runs down here in the first half. 32-25, Jazz lead by seven. Uh oh, man. I don't know what the mod team was doing here in the offseason, especially uh, Bad Wolf Marsh. But he is completely flat going into the half. You really just hate to see it, man. You expect better from the mods. <laughs> it even mutes the halftime show? Are you serious? That's a little weird. Uh, that, that's a little weird. Let's see some highlights. Small peen hitting that fader. Another three from Small Peen. I mean, he was he was doing it all there in the first quarter. Yeah, that's true. I don't know if we actually expect better from the mods. You might want to update the expansion team's playbooks. They're never going to shoot threes. Regardless, thanks for putting this on. Bumped. I'm probably going to be a reserve, but fun to watch either way. Uh, no, the expansion team's playbooks are, are fine, Poop Dollar. And they've, they've been shooting threes, my man. I mean, I'll double check it, but I'm pretty sure they're all balanced, actually. But I will double check. You you might be right because it might be it might be the classic teams. But I mean they were definitely shooting threes. There is your stat your halftime report. Pretty even to be honest. Two blocks for the bees, zero for the Jazz. Peen leading the way with nine points, but Lucy Pussy, four points, three boards to lead the way for the bees. I muted the commentary. I don't know. That's what everybody was requesting, but maybe I'll put it on like a really low volume so we don't have a muted halftime show because that's just weird as shit. I can always just talk over them. I could put it on kind of low. <clears throat> All right. Second half action coming at you. Let's see if the Utah Jazz can continue to hold this lead or if the Bees can make a comeback. Bees shooting has been kind of lackluster, especially from distance. We'll see if, oh, small peen got room from the elbow. No good. I don't know why he tried to step back right there. Walrus inside, no good. Tries to put it in with the left hand. Jazz with a chance to extend their already longest lead of the game. 
Screen set. Dr. Thought trying to get past this man. Step back for Flux. No good. Man in his face. Bees with a chance to answer. Inside the sniper cat, and he gets it to go. All right, good way to come out of the break. Yeah, transition game too slow. Small peen, letting it fly. Got a good look. He's got nine points. He's three of seven from the field. Really not that great. Marsh backing his man down, giving a Flux a little shove. Two guys on him, he decides not to pass it and it's rejected. Dr. Thought with a pull up in transition, bang, hits the two. Both teams shooting 48%. Seven point lead still for the Jazz. Inside, Pussy with the offensive board and the putback. They needed that. Yeah, apparently Marsh just has no idea what he's doing today. Marsh is completely throwing. Thought off the screen. Good defense. Gonna have to get rid of it. Small peen with a man in his face. Walrus is there to disrupt it. Walrus, quick bucket, no good. It's short. Oh man, the bees needed that one. That was a good chance to get another bucket back after the stop. Flux drives. Really trying to give the ball to Peen. He seems to be the best scorer. Thought with a lot of room and he drains it. The slow walk back here in front of the home crowd here in Utah. Their largest lead of the game. Jazz up by eight and the Bees need a timeout. Uh-oh, uh-oh. What's going on with the mod team? The mod team, man, they got too cocky. They got too fucking cocky. Yo, Refine, thank you for the five years. Refine, you're gonna come in here with me with a five-year resub? Didn't even have a message. Yo, thank you so very much, man. Stealth back in the game for the mods. Goes up with the left and it's good. Stealth is not gonna give this game up easily. Instant offense from your man, Stealth. Sack for three. Off to the left. No good. Stealth again. Comes into the game in a quick two buckets for Stealth. And the Bees are right back into it. Four-point game. T. Robinson. Little iso ball. Got room. Up with the left. Up with the right. Excuse me. And it's good. The finger roll. Stealth, he's already two for two in this quarter. Nearly gets it stripped. Trying to get open. Two guys, they're double teaming him. He's got to get rid of it. Gives it to Sensei. Back to Samuel for a quick two and he drains it. Wow. Great shot once again by Samuel. These bench players for the Bees coming in and handling business. And the Jazz want to talk about it. Honestly, take out the starters. Put these uh, bench players in for the mods. Bench coming up clutch. Walrus was over here trying to get his ass started. He's He's been trash. Please tell me, okay, the mods kept in stealth. T. Robinson on the inbounds. No good. So the bees with another stop. Now they got to take advantage of this. Looks like they're trying to get, oh, wide open for Goten, but he can't knock it down. Good look. Can't make him pay. Matsko transition in the corner and he hits a three. Oh, you hate to see it. What a wasted opportunity for the Bees. Judge Judy with a one-handed jumper, no good. Kind of forced it. This Judy, though. Oh, my God. It's Judy on Judy action. And the Judy with an eye makes a statement. Lead up to nine for the Jazz. Step back by Goten. No, decides not to shoot it. 
Passes it to Judy. Seven on the shot clock. The Bees really need an answer. They need a shot. They go over to Stealth who pulls up. No! Can't get it to go. Judy wide open from three and Funyuns. Oh, I thought Funyuns got the offensive, offensive rebound. Stealth pulling up for the three, had room. Can't get it to go, oh no. The shots are just not falling for the Bees. And the Jazz take an 11 point lead on the Judy two. Oh fuck, here we go again. <laughs> Final shot of the third quarter, going for the Bees. Can they get a good look? They go to Stealth. Blocked, great defense! And the Utah Jazz lead by 11, going into the final quarter of play. Oh, wow, you hate to see it. You hate to see it. Oh, Lord. You really, really hate to see it, boys. Can the mod team come back? 11 points? I don't know, bro. I think this is, uh, yeah, you're right. I don't hate to see it. I actually love to see it. That's your assist of the game for the Motsko corner three. Yeah, actually, you love to see it. <laughs> you fucking love to see it, chat. Do mod team uh, not coming up clutch. Stealth. Ooh, got his man in the air. They go over to Marsh. Wide open for Rusty. Hey, a quick three out of the gate. Rusty comes into the game and hits his first shot attempt. That's exactly what the bees need. Yo, it's Liam. Liam, thank you for the 21 months. How you doing, man? Motsko for another three, and he hits again. Motsko absolutely crushing it from behind the arc in this one. Trading blows. Trash Panda coming in with the prime sub. Thank you, Mr. Trash Panda. Marsh over the screen. They go to Judy. Damn, Stealth just bullying him. Pulls up and hits it. Oh, my. Stealth's got 10. He is your leading scorer for the mod team, the Bees. Motsko inside. Passes over to Golden Glove. Oh, my God. Mini one. Said, get that shit out of here. Send it into the stands. Bees trying to make a defensive stand here so they can go on a run and get back into this game. Flux in the outside, trying to get around his man. He drives, goes up with the left-handed slam. Flexes on him, and it's a, back to an 11-point lead. B's got to talk about it, man. They got to figure something out. So much for that defense, huh? The Yankees, thank you for the seven munch, man. The munch? Seven munch. Thanks for the seven munch. Honestly, put Stealth back in. He was scoring, he was their leading scorer. And he was off the bench too. I guess they're gonna they're gonna put Walrus back in. Marsh around the screen. They haven't utilized their star player sniper cap much. They go to him in the corner. He misses again. Sniper cat not able to get it to go. And then he ends up with a frustration foul on the other end. Oh no. The game is crumbling here for the bees. Small peen in the corner. Gets it under the basket. Ratatouille gets fouled. Oh, man. Yeah, F for the mods, please. You guys scare me because every time you guys say F, I think the stream went down. 13-point lead. Four minutes left. Can the mod team make an, a, an amazing comeback here in the final minutes? Pussy pulls up for an easy mid-range. Knocks it down. More of that, bees, more of that. Small peen, pulling up. Oh my God, off the dribble, knocks it down from mid range. Small peen trying to put this game away. Pussy again, got a good look. They should keep going to him, he's getting hot. Yes, Small Peen is the 98 overall for the Utah Jazz, and he is crushing it.
Hey, Goldie, I ran a sim today and found out Rogo Krusek is a mini dunk machine. Hey, hell yeah. That's going to be awesome, Bazinga. Out of bounds. B's ball. Okay. Hey, that's a good sign. There's still three minutes left in this game. There's still time left for the Bees. They got to turn it around. They got to start knocking down some shots. Sniper Cat trying to get off his man, but the defense is just too much. Can't get free. They're still trying to run a play by him. He got a good look. He, no good again. Trying to force things, and Sniper Cat just cannot find his rhythm. Inside, Flux gets it with the right hand layup, and he taps the wrist. The Jazz are not letting up here in the final minutes. Marsh trying to razzle-dazzle. Walrus getting double-teamed, decides to pull up for a terrible shot again. And this looks like it's going to be it for the Jazz. They are really not playing, or excuse me, for the Bees. Flux tapping the wrist because you know what time it is. And I think this game is over. A 14-point deficit. The Bees are going to talk about it one more time. Probably to discuss their dinner plans for after the game. Because uh, this shit's over, boys. Ian, thank you for the two years. Welcome back. They're discussing whether or not it should be Sniper, Cat, or Marsh that's paying for dinner because of their lack of performance here in game number one. Dr. Thought, seven points, three of three from the field. He was perfect. And the Jazz are gonna be are gonna take this game 1-0. 1-0 to here to start the season. Sniper's Cat going up with it. Gets it to go. Avoiding the contact. He's got eight points tonight. Flux over to Matsko, who's been knocking down pretty much every three he takes. All the Jazz need to do is basically just run out the clock. Take your time. Damon Matsko... With a three, ooh, nearly got it to go right in Sniper Cat's eye. Walrus inside, small peen on D. Pulls up, gets it to rattle in. Brings the game with it, or brings the score within 11. Full court press here for the Bees. Marsh is all over him. But it's too little, too late. I think the, uh, the Jazz are gonna be able to pull out this game. Screen for Matsko. Pulls up again. Oh, and he gets this one to go. Despite the deep, the, the, I almost said the deep coverage. Marsh pulling up and he, oh my God, he finally got one to go. I meant the tough coverage, not the deep coverage. Marsh finally hits a three, but that is it. Damon Matsko on fire. They're going to go back to him. He's been he's been just raining threes all over the bees. They go back to him. He pulls up again. Oh, I thought that was money, dude. Lucy Pussy. I don't know if he's actually missed a shot. He's been pretty solid from the mid-range. Sniper Cat with a step back three. No good. Pussy with the offensive board. Walrus again for three. No good. And the Jazz... Oh, are the bees are gonna just absolutely fall short here in game one and the jazz are gonna come away with the victory your mod team gets absolutely trashed on the road utah jazz are undefeated to start the ggba season two small peen he ain't pretty but man he can play some ball Ooh, you know what it's a hey, it's a long season bees it's a long season. And God, I hope you guys go winless. That would be fucking hilarious. <laughs> let's check out the box score. Actually, let's not check out the box score yet. We want to see normalized stats. We want to see the normalized stats. Yeah, hopefully the mod team goes 0-82. We can only hope. 122 to 102 the final. Damon Motzko puts up 26 points, two rebounds, two assists. He was 6 of 10 from behind the arc. Small Peen, 22 points. 20 for Flux. A double-double for Thought, 14 to 10. Judy and Sack both added 12.
Pussy, 20, 14, and 4 with a couple of blocks. Tried to lead the team. Stealth had 20 in only 16 minutes. Six boards, two steals. 16 and 8 for Sniper Cat. Marsh, 2 of 12. Sniper Cat was 0 of 6 from behind the arc. Marsh, 4 turnovers, 2 of 12 from the field. Marsh, absolutely trash. Walrus, 2 of 10. You gotta, you gotta score buckets to win, bees. Oh, man. 18 points in the second quarter. All right, we're gonna simulate uh, this day. Simulate through game, uh, daily view. Raptors beat the Warriors 120 to 118. Pleblo 21, two and nine with two steals. Wow, Pleblo had a great game for the Warriors. Too bad it, it was a loss. 1693 for Sanchez. Money, eight, three, 10 and three. Rusky led the Raptors 17, four and five. Chill Jang at 14, 3, and 6. A great team effort for the Raptors. And they get their first win of the year. Knicks and Magic. Ooh, it was a one point win for the Orlando Magic. Jimbo Butterfield, 16, and 6. Couple steals. Samson, 16, 9, 2, and 2. The, the center. 16, 3 for Osin. 19 for Daddy Longlegs. In the loss, Double Blade, 18, 8, and 3. 15 for Mr. Thighwalker. 9 and 7 for Downey. Those are the first three games of GGBA Day 1.